do I understand your position to be that there are two sexes, but there can be more than two genders? Um, I wouldn't even say two, and you know we've got Dr. Lopez here as well, but there's also the definition of intersex. I think that often in these conversations we're conflating sex and gender, and I do want to affirm here that trans women are are women. That is their gender. Okay, but but I'm trying to understand. Are you, do you make a distinction between sex and gender? Yes, sir. Okay, explain that just. Do you think there are more than two sexes? Um, I believe that there's a, a definition for intersex as well that I want to acknowledge. Um, but sex is okay, assigned so at birth. Three, I'm just trying to understand. I'm thoroughly confused. So you're, you're born, I'm talking about biology, male, female, and what else? I believe that intersex is also acknowledged. Intersex. But again, I, I'm not a doctor here. What I can and say what is, intersex mean? is that there's a difference between sex and gender. And different. I think in these conversations, we're conflating the two. Well, well but, but I want to start with sex. Okay, there's male, there's female. When a baby's born, before the baby has had time to, to even have a sense of self, there's male, female, and intersex. There's a third... Sex. I believe that is true, but I would defer to Dr. Lopez as I'm not a physician. Okay. Um, and how many genders are there? I think the gender is expansive, and the definitions are always growing. Um, you know, today I can tell you, more I talk to young five? people more that than, talk about non-binary as... More than five? I think the gender is not a binary is what I'm trying but to is, say. But are there more than five genders? I'm just trying to understand. Are there more than five genders? Well, I mean, I think that there was a time where women wearing pants didn't feel like it was appropriate for their gender, are, and yet I'm wearing pants today. There, I think that there are ways that we question. express our are there more than that are five expansive. Genders? Are there more than five? I wouldn't subject myself to naming how many genders there are, but what I can say is, is there that gender is a reflection. Number? Excuse me? There's an infinite number of genders? I think depending on your culture, there are a lot of different genders that, that exist. And I can also say that it's a term that's evolving. If you look at young people today, they really don't lean into the binary of only woman and man. So I think that it's incumbent upon us not to legislate on this, but create space for them to explore what their identities are, what their gender identities are. are <clears throat> Let's get back to athletics. I, I think I understand what you're saying. There are three sexes. Male, female, and intersex. I believe that to be true, but again, I'm not a physician. And so there are an infinite number of genders because gender is a mental state. Gender is about expression, and I think that there are a variety of ways that you can express your gender. Okay, so there's infinite number. All right, let's go back to the, to the biology. Male, female, boy, girl, okay? Biologically... Do males have an advantage over females biologically in sports? Again, I'm not a physician, and I, I can't speak to that. What's your real-world experience? Um, it depends. I mean, there are some people who are born male that I'm faster than if I were to sprint against them and some that I'm not. Some but, males so that are taller than some that, women and some that are shorter. You don't believe that a biological male has a physical advantage in sports over a biological female? Not as def a definitive statement. Give me an example. Well, no, I, I don't think. How, 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 how many female members of the NBA do you see? Well, I can say that, you know, there's been this news article about men that think that they could beat Serena Williams in tennis right? That they think that they could actually score a point on her. Um, and it's just not the case. She is stronger James, than that. What's your experience, Ben? Male, female? Both Serena and Venus lost to the 203rd ranked male tennis player, which they're phenoms for women. Um, my experience, my husband, he swam at University of Kentucky as well. In terms of accolades and in terms of national ranking, I was a much better swimmer than him. Um, he could kick my butt any day of the week without trying. Okay. I, I, I just think, Ms. Robinson, I I th I'm trying to understand where you're coming from. I think you lose a lot of credibility when you don't concede that a, a biological male ha has physical advantages over a biological female. 
I, I mean, I just think that's a proven fact, and you really hurt your credibility. I understand you, you want the world to be a better place. I do, too, and I don't think people ought to be discriminated against be, because of an immutable characteristic. I don't. Um, and I, I think that... Um, I think everybody ought to be free to be themselves. And what you do in your bedroom or what I do in my bedroom with a consenting adult is nobody's business. But if what I do in, in, a, in, in my bedroom with a consenting adult, if I decide I want to tell somebody's child about it, then, I, then other people have rights too. And I think parents have rights. And I think biological females have rights to be able to compete fairly in sport in 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 in, in sports. So I, I really I really think you hurt your credibility when you refuse to acknowledge that biological males have an advantage over biological females. It kind of makes me wonder about all your testimony. Thank you, Senator Mr. Chairman. Kennedy. I'm sorry, go ahead. Um I I what I'm trying to say is that there is not a definitive advantage in all cases. Sir, I don't know if you believe that you could beat Serena Williams in tennis, but I probably think that that's not the case. There are not all cases where all men are physically superior to all women. And at the end of the day, in this conversation, we're not talking about that. We're talking about trans women who are, in fact, women, who deserve to play in a gender that matches their sports, who deserve all the benefits that Ms. Gaines is talking about. And as a cisgender black woman, I can say definitively that my womanhood is not threatened by a transgender person asserting hers as well. 